We have finally made it. We are there. The last two episodes of Dr. Stone Season 2. I'm very excited. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Dr. Stone Season 2, Episodes 10 and 11. This one is called Humanity's Strongest Tag Team, and the next episode is called Prologue of Dr. Stone, which gives me, like, huge Vinland Saga vibes. Like, of these first two seasons really only been the beginning of the story. I have no idea... I have no idea where Dr. Stone can go in terms of the long term, the end game. Are we going to save humanity or like I have no idea how the show could end. I am very excited for it though. Don't forget, if you guys didn't know, with the first and last episode of every season of every show that we have on the channel, the full length, which is normally available as an exclusive tier for Patreon, is available for everyone for free. So make sure to click that top link in the description. Then come back here for the review when you guys are done. And if you guys do enjoy that format and want to maybe keep that for the future, it is a great time. Consider checking out that Patreon. Like I said, uh, links are in the description. Fantastic benefits, fantastic time, super welcoming. It is all, all around a good, enjoyable experience. Other than that, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, follow all the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Twitter. Let's hop into this, Dr. Stone, Season 2, Episodes 10 and 11, Humanity's Strongest Tag Team, and Prologue of Dr. Stone. Let's do this. Alright, starting exactly where we left off. This is the moment of truth, if the Revival Fluid will be able to heal her. This is exactly like Yuzuriha. <laughs> Meanwhile, we got Yuzuriha just slaying out the... <laughs> the sewing in the background. I know, she is nasty with it. <laughs> it's been a minute since we've revived someone. How long does it take? It looks like it's immediately going in. This is their first experience seeing someone being revived with the stone world. That's what I'm saying. This would be crazy to see this. And the angelic sister comes out, and she is alive and conscious. Well, Sukasa, here you go. This is probably the biggest moment of his life. For her, oh, I was about to say she hasn't seen him since he was her, you know, a much smaller big bro, but <laughs> thousands, thousands, literally. That's so touching, though. Hmm. Oh, that reminds her of herself, because she kept fighting for Ruri with her sister and the pneumonia. So she knows exactly how he feels. This is a big moment. I'm on the verge of tearing up right now. Ugh! Oh, that was a great opening to this episode. Humanity's Strongest Tag Team, here we go. Okay, Hyoga, what's going on at the river over here? It has to be Hyoga. That's a fake Homer, isn't it? Because we know Hyoga has a special relationship, at least somewhat, with uh, Homer. <laughs> Detective Suika reporting it. Oh, yo! Oh, no! Is he going to blow up the Miracle Cave? So, then how are we going to revive anyone? How are we going to bring back humanity? <laughs> it's got to be Yoga. It's the only one we've seen so far. Hmm. 
how are we gonna ruin the happiest episode of damn near both seasons of the show immediately like not even hesitate at all a second that was a great catch he trusted Hyoga so much too Yeah, Kohaku's not, oh. Uh, yeah, her dad's not letting her do that, though. Hmm. What would you call this? A river that goes branches off into a number of islands like this. I just forgot my geology a long time. Is that, that's not like an archipelago, is it? A plateau, a basin. There's so many terms, I don't know. I'm just trying to... <laughs> he, he yeah, he is, but he was. <laughs> that's funny that he said that. Yeah, no, fuck yoga. Me and my homies hate yoga now. But if that's the case, then Senku would be the only one chosen. I like how he's covering his wound too. It, I do believe, I do agree that it's fatal, but come on. Now, once we get into that topic and that debate, I. I agree. I don't think the planet can sustain 7 billion, but I also don't agree with your radicalism as well. Uh huh. I like that answer. I like that rebuttal a lot. That is the way science does things. All seven million of us will, or seven billion of us will look for an answer. But what is science in the face of ultimate death, you know? Oh, that's the title of this episode. I thought it would be fucking Sukasa and him. Can Sukasa even do anything? Unpetrifying birds? Oh, okay, nice little plan. That was a mean punch from Sukasa. That'd be enough to end anyone. That was early on. That was like episode two or three. Okay. My man's gonna do whatever it takes. Shouts out Sukasa. <laughs> <laughs> Let's fight team. This is literally who I thought was the ultimate tag team. Let's tag team this guy. Hey, yo, pause. Ooh, 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 ooh. He was using the dust and the trail from his running to hide the gunpowder he just put on the ground. Is that what he did, I'm assuming? Yep, a gunpowder trail. Now how do we ignite it and spark it? Ooh, okay, maybe we had a flint on us or something. He has a bulletproof vest or something. I heard a metal clank when he hit him right there. That was not through flesh. It's his lung where he got him. Oh my god. They did get to fight together fleetingly. Oh my god! His one finger that he said was gonna use to kill. So what do you What does he have? A battery and electric current tied to his chest? How does he You get a high voltage transformer? Oh, that's knocking anyone out. And now, what was he was using to keep away from him, now he's keeping you here, holding you together. Enjoy the gift of science from Sukasa and me. Sukasa and I, but I agree. Oh yeah, you'd be done. You'd be done. 
Wretched science. <laughs> Even the might of Hyoga could get beat. <sighs> is this going to be the end of Sukasa though? I assume this is going to be our last moment with him. Hmm. That was much needed. After all the strife and conflict we've had over the past two seasons, we end it with a high five. God damn, that felt so abrupt. All right, starting episode 11, the finale. This one's called the prologue of Dr. Stone. Homura is upset about what happened to Hyoga, and she comes in to... I Kohaku is beautiful for that. Look at them. The rest of Ishigami Village waiting to save the day. <laughs> yeah. For once, me and Magma agree. Yes. I agree. It is bad. But let's kill him. Let's do it. You say that, but I know season 3 is already confirmed. So I wouldn't go that far yet. This is just the beginning. This is the prologue of Dr. Stone. He is not wrong. We've made a couple of scientific achievements and progress, but we've just now enabled the start line for us to be able to start bringing the world back. See? These are much happier, happier vibes after this. And we have all the Sukasa's men helping us out as well. Oh my god, imagine the amount of facilities and how big we're going to be able to get once we have all the shit that we need. And glasses. <laughs> oh, they're probably so hungry. Yuzuriya is doing her clutch ass project. And we have an old man with a bald spot. And he used to be, what, typing on a computer? Piano? What was what is that? Oh, he's a manga artist? Is this why Hunter Hunter hasn't come out in forever? Fucking Togashi got stoned up? Oh my god, the Switch movies, video games, Goku. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What happened? I have no idea what happened. That's hilarious. Mm-hmm. He can he can stay, but we'll have we'll keep our eye on him. As he so is he telling them before he dies where all the people the statues that he broke are i mean it's a big decision choosing to murder someone you know to end a life so it would make sense that he remembers he probably keeps that with him you know now don't get me wrong over the past two seasons i've had my fair share of issues with sukasa but you know it's always been like a love-hate relationship i agreed with his points and his perspective on a lot of things but just the way he was going about things, you know? Are we going to keep him alive? <laughs> How are we going to fix a pierced lung? <laughs> For formaldehyde? <laughs> and you get super glue to seal wounds. I see. Modern science, modern medicine. Yeah, that's a rough one. Give us like another year or two of time, you know, for us to advance our technology. Maybe we'd be able to, but. <laughs> yeah, they're not called miracles on this part of town. Come on, this is science, baby. Are we going to test out some. Oh, that would work. That's a good idea. How am I not thinking of these things? Oh, is this Mirai watching? <laughs> she was disguised as a bush. Remember how doubtful she used to be of Senku, of science in general? Look how far we've come. The entire village fully 100% believes in Senku. From sepsis? What's sepsis? Oh, 
Yeah, it was literally a green cum laser on the entire earth that petrified everyone. So we only have a few days to find out though. I know. He's gotta have some deeper meaning, some secondary meaning behind that, but what does that mean? Freeze him. Okay, we're gonna turn him into a caveman. Is that does that thing actually work? Is that is that a liable act like is that You talk, I want to talk about the ultimate faith? Wow. No hesitation. <laughs> We're making a fridge. We gotta keep Sukasa cold. <laughs> now they have more people who are like Gen, who are from the modern world, to know how crazy Senku's ideas are. <laughs> He's not alone in that. That's hilarious. Valid point. Valid point. Say less. We're out of here. We're gonna go eat some lunch. We'll be back. That's my thing. I've only ever heard it happening in movies and in TV shows. It'd have to be Senku and Mirai, right? <laughs> Chrome and Taiju. Interesting. I like how everyone's doing their own jobs. Everyone has a thing, you know, they're trying to accomplish. That was where we originally came back. That was the old little village. Yeah, that's a throwback compared to, you know. I do this with every show, but once we get deeper in, I'm like, man, think about the old days. The fucking... Is he dying right now? Did he do it? Alright. My man's frozen. It's our new goal. With the shells, too. It really feels like we're killing him. Like, it feels like we're putting him in his, in his casket, you know, but... This is all to hoping we can have him back one day. Shouts out to Mirai. You gotta find out about that petrification. I know, look at this meeting, look at our new squad, this is crazy. Season 3's gotta come before we know it. Shouts out Byakuya, Lillian, and the rest of them. We're going to the other side of the planet? No, you know how far that is? That is true. And we're not Pangea, the one continent. Alright, we're gonna work together to build a ship. But this is gonna be like crossing the ocean like hundreds of years ago when the... When it was a dangerous task, you know? The Stone World's Age of Discovery. Look at pirate boys. God damn, pirate Ruri is a baddie. Ishigami Village lives with the sea. <laughs> I love everyone's pirate outfit. Two and a half years, man. It's been crazy. Look at my wife, Kohaku. She is so damn hot. So this is where we're going for season three. I wonder how many seasons or how long it's going to be before we get Tsukasa back. We got to find out that truth, man. You got alchemy sign on the left, you got, ooh, everything, man. Who is that? To be continued? Is that like a little teaser? Who is that? 
Season, ooh, season fucking three is gonna come hard. Well, talk about an ending to season two. It is crazy how different this show is and how unique it takes its plot points and its story and where it goes with it, you know? Like, I was fully expecting Tsukasa to be the, the, the villain throughout this. But with that being said, I also, like I said, had a love-hate relationship with him. Like, I genuinely disagreed with a lot of the things he said, but I didn't want to see him die. And Senku's not the type of person to kill someone. So I was really curious how we're going to go about this, but we were able to help with the whole thing with his sister and Mirai was just beautiful how that was handled. That's his number one goal. And I love how that related to Kohaku and how she kept fighting for Ruri, Ruri, even though it seemed as if there was no chance that Ruri could be saved at all. And it worked out in the end. And the whole thing with Hyoga and his long-term plan of only the elite can survive. I understand that coming from his perspective because he is one of those elite, but the fact that he was willing to kill Mirai and henceforth he knew fucking Tsukasa would come and and take that hit and it was it was a fatal like he achieved his mission he would have killed Tsukasa had we not turned him into a frozen caveman which like this plan is gonna be insane I have no idea how this is gonna work how are we gonna discover the the origin of the pure petrification we're going to the other side of the world with a boat this is gonna be a lot of fun a lot of new experiences because we're going to see new animals, new environments, new places. We're going to leave Japan. It's going to be insane. We're going to have new characters because of that person they showed at the end. Oh, new inventions, new science, new chemistry, biology, everything. That's my easily, that's easily my favorite part about this is the science, you know? Like, I got to see him use, literally defeat Hyoga with a taser. It literally is just insane. But I thoroughly enjoyed these two episodes. I hope you guys did as well. I cannot wait for season three. I am super excited. I, if you guys have any info on when that is going to come out, please let me know if that hasn't been announced or anything. You know, obviously, I'm just going to be sitting here eagerly anticipating that announcement. But like I said, if you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to check out that Patreon for full length, all that of everything else. Uh, don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Be safe out there. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace.